Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode we're going to be taking on level 3, Key Cavern. And yeah, as the title implies, we're going to be using a lot of keys within this cavern for a lot of doors that we're going to have to unlock. And this door in particular, we don't need a key, we just go ahead and use a pot and that will destroy the door. But yeah, prepare to get a lot of keys that you're not actually going to need to use. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of doors that will lead you pretty much nowhere, but you're going to get keys in return. So, yeah, I'm going to show off all the doors either way, though, because I want to use all of the keys I can get within this temple. I believe even if we do use all of the keys, we'll still end up with one extra key at the end of the temple. So, yeah, that's why this cavern is called Key Cavern. And, hey, check out that. We got a slime from this chest. Not bad. Yeah, completely useless chest. Anywho, the, the music for this temple is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure this is not the same music it plays within each temple. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a really old Atari game or something. I mean, this game is old and it's on the color, so it's not really that you know special when it comes to music and stuff. But I don't know, man. It just sounds a lot different than the other uh, music pieces within this game. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill everybody in sight. We should only have one key on us and there are four doors to open up. This is where things may look tricky, but don't worry. We're going to first off unlock this door, and no matter what, we're going to get a key back within each room we head inside. So, yeah, to do that, you just need to kill all of the enemies, which I am going to try to do. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the key. So, now that we have this key, I'm, I want to hit the switch. That's why I did this room first, because now I can backtrack and get myself this chest, which was blocked by those uh, bricks. And I can get myself something else. So that gave us the owl beak so we can speak to the owl statues and get information if we need. I'm going to go ahead and head back to this room so that we have to kill these slimes again. Alright, there we go. Now in this room, we should get another special thing, which should be the dungeon map. So yeah. Also, I'm going to kill this Stalthos from up here, or from down there while he's up there because I don't want to deal with him. But there we go, at last. Not really at last because we got it pretty early within this temple. Actually, overall, this temple is pretty short. As long as we don't die, I'll be happy. Which, I mean, <sighs> last episode, I died quite a bit, so it wouldn't surprise me if I started playing bad. I don't know, for some reason, it just takes me a while to get into the groove of classical Zelda games, like the older style games. Because I guess I'm just so used to 3D games, it's hard to, but... Yeah, okay, so... I don't want to open this door because this is definitely the most difficult one out of all of them even though all we're going to be getting is a key and that's it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's just go ahead and do it now. <laughs> Alright, so the reason why I hate this room so much is because I have to fight these enemies and these enemies literally teleport back and forth like that. Um, and yeah, so you just have to constantly chase them and it is unreal how absolutely annoying this is. So you kind of have to predict where they're gonna spawn. And if you can, you'll get an easy shot on them, but they can also get an easy shot on you. All right, oh, I thought I had him. Okay, let's just quickly. Ah, okay, I don't like this at all, but jump. Come on, bait him to te teleport and run over here and hit him. No, come on, I'm gonna end up dying from this, aren't I? All right, let's try one more time. And I fell. I should maybe pick up those hearts, but I'm too stubborn to. See, the thing is I put myself in a really bad situation because right now he's on literally the corners of the room, which takes me quite a bit to actually run to. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to get him like that. There we go. Oh my God. All right. So the key falls and if I fell, I would have died. So this is all good, we made it, everything's fine. Now the key actually falls on this moving platform and if it does fall into this abyss, you should need to exit, re-enter the room and fight the first slime that appears and then the key will fall down again. So don't worry, you will get back that key if uh, it fell into the abyss. You should need to fight one more slime, I guess. So yeah, this room, kind of annoying because we got the same freaking guy gonna teleport back and forth and try to hit us. He's so accurate with it. Alright, sweet. We got one hit. All right, hopefully we can get him to teleport again. But without me getting close. Oh! Yay! We did it! Even though he hit me again as well. Alright. There we go. Now let's kill everything in this room. Oh, the slime killed itself. Now we get ourselves another small key. Yeah, like I said, all of these rooms are useless because you're not getting anything from it. But I just want to show off each and every room because why the heck not? Just in case you accidentally opened up a specific room. And you want to know how to take it on, which in reality, there's not really much to it because you're just fighting off enemies. So, 
yeah. Anywho, we're about like, I, I, I can say 40% done with this temple. Because like I said, it's really easy as long as we don't get hurt. I hope I don't. But yeah, we shouldn't be able to get a small key from this room. Kill all the enemies. You have to walk around to have them spawn. Uh, we'll come back here in a second. But yeah, this is where things are going to get a little annoying. Because... We might end up dying here since I have so low HP. I'm actually kind of nervous. Hopefully we do fine. All right, I'm going to skip this room for now. Don't want to mess with them. They're so hard to kill. They're going to give us a small key, but they're just so hard to kill that I don't want to bother. I killed everyone in this room because you get a chest up there. That's not going to give us a key, but rather uh, rupees. Oh, please don't explode on me. All right, we're good. That guy's dead. And <gasps> ah, we're good. All right, so we need as many bombs as we can get. That's why I came all the way up here. Well, that and for the rupees that we're going to be able to pick up. But the main reason why I came up here is for this, which is that. There we go. So if you don't have bombs, the dungeon will get, supply you bombs because the mini boss within this temple requires them to beat it. So to defeat the black monster with the hard shell, feed him something explosive. That is what I was speaking of. And they're going to be... Dagongo snakes. So get ready to take on some freaking Dagongo st snakes. They're not fun. Actually, before I do exit here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly run up and show what's on this side. So on this side, there's just an empty room, but there's a cracked wall. It doesn't show on this side. So keep in mind, when we head inside this room, we can bomb this wall that will take us to a secret room that has no other way of entering. Now, this is a nice shortcut back to the middle room here, which is nice. Now is the take on, time to take on this enemy that we needed a bunch of bombs for. Yeah, these are Dagongo snakes, and they are scary. Now, I do have 17, so I could play it safe and have him walk up to it. But essentially, you want to feed him the bombs. And it's kind of hard to do, because they're usually going to hurt you if you do come near it. Uh, if you do come near them, and they do about a heart per hit. So I want to kill one by one. Please? Really? Okay, well, you didn't want my bombs. But yeah, once I'm able to kill one of them, I'll be fine, though. Just one. Come on. Ugh. Kind of reminds me of that snake game that was on, like, really old phones. Or I believe maybe on... Must have been on something else. <laughs> wow, he denies it completely. I'm going to need at least four bombs by the time one's dead. Or No, no, two. So we'll be fine. All right. <gasps> he's dead, right? No, he still has one more hit. Okay. Yes. Now they drop a fairy, so I can go ahead and act a little dumb on this one. And I can feed it to him directly now that I have a lot of HP. There we go. It'll end up hurting me to do that. But it's fine because, as you can see, uh, these guys drop fairies when you kill them. What's he doing? Please come down to it. Yay! We killed him. And give me this freaking fairy now. Oh, snap. It's going to go off screen. No, I want you. I want you, please. Yay, okay, good. Even though I believe there's HP down here. Yeah, there was. Whatever. I don't care. I wanted that HP because that was more important. All right, there we go. So now we got the item of the temple, which is the Pegasus Boots. They are freaking awesome. I love the Pegasus Boots. In every installment this item was in, it was freaking awesome to use because you get to run super fast. Yeah, everybody super sonic racing. You better keep your feet up off the ground. I don't know the lyrics to that song, but what I do know is you can actually do something pretty cool with the rocks, feather, and the boots. But I'm going to show that off in a second. For now, I want to go ahead and backtrack to the beginning of the temple because now that we have these items, or this item, we can go ahead and run straight towards this weird ball that actually, actually like forces you back with this weird force. So if we run straight towards it, ah, we can kill it with our sword, as long as you have your sword out, and you can get another freaking small key. So yeah, we're going to be grinding up on these small keys. Let's go ahead and teleport back to the kind of midway of the temple, and start using this bad boy move to its advantage, because, you know, we can literally kill anybody in front of us. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this, just like that, and just like that. We're done. <laughs> All right, so what's up here? Oh, this is the rumor that I was speaking of. The room, not rumor, but yeah, this is the room I was speaking of for where we need it to. Okay, phew. These bombs start chasing you, then they explode, so you want to knock them back with your sword and not have them follow you. But yeah, the room right after this one over here 
This is the room I was speaking of where there's uh, gonna be a cracked wall on the other side. So we're gonna bomb this wall here. And we're gonna get access to something pretty special. Thank God I have bombs. Thought I used them all. That would've sucked. But yeah, now we got the compass. So all that's left is the nightmare key. And that's it, because we have everything else that we need. And I don't really care. This dialogue's so annoying. Why did it go so slow? Jeez. All right, we're good. All right, more freaking bombs. Let's hit this one and jump. Okay, that did not work at all. Let's hit these two. These ones are the ones that explode immediately instead of start chasing you around. But either way, they're a pain. All right, what sucks even more is that these bombs instantly respawn. So I have to hit this one, have these ones chase me, and then start throwing them back. Nope, you ain't coming close. You ain't coming close. Ah! This is the easiest way I deal with them because they usually explode far away from you. All right, I still need bombs for something else because I'm going to be bombing this wall. You see this arrow? Actually, let me speak to this. Poke some, uh, poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword and listen to the sound it makes. All right, let's go ahead and try that actually before we do this. Oh, snap. It's doing a weird noise. Let's go ahead and place down a bomb. And the arrow alone gives it away that, hey, let's, you know, there might be an area. Also, if you do have the map slash compass, you would have saw that this is a room we haven't entered. So that also kind of gives it away. But let's go ahead and bomb this wall as well. Now I just need to kill these bad boys. And I have a feeling I'm going to get a game over right here in this exact room. Now, the reason for that, I'm going to go ahead and hope I can find some hearts. Yes. Yes. All right. Sweet. You know what? Maybe we're not going to get a game over. Let's go ahead and exit and re-enter and see if these respawn. No, they don't. Feels like enemies. They do not. All right. So, yeah. What we have to do is we have to use our Pegasus boots and then jump, jump with rocks Cape. No, Feather. I don't know why I always want to say Cape, because it's in another Zelda game. Anywho, let me know which Zelda game it is if you know what it is, but yeah. <laughs> we need to use the Pegasus boots and then jump midair like that while uh, running to make long jumps like that. It's kind of difficult. At least I have trouble with it, but as I say that, I do it completely fine. And those were the only two major jumps we need to do, but this gives us access to the boss's lair. Now let's go ahead and make it out by jumping like this. And we need to do the same here. Just got to time that jump. For some reason, it was a lot easier than I thought, huh? All right, so I believe we now have everything we need. If I go ahead and press pause, you'll see that, yeah, all that's left is the boss. And to get access to the boss, you must use all the keys you have obtained, which we have a total of three. That's definitely not the amount we need. I'm pretty sure we need about one more, so... Yeah, never mind. Let's go ahead and actually pull out our sword. And I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure I need more than one. Or I need one more. So I might be missing a key. Oh, you know what? Yes! I'm stupid. Remember how I completely put off a room saying for later? That's the room. So it's a good thing I remembered because I don't want to get stumped. But yeah, this is the room. I don't want to fight these guys until I got the Pegasus boots because they suck. You already saw how annoying it is to fight these guys. So by doing that, now we have a total of four keys, and now we shall make our way to the boss. So this is exciting. All right, here we go. Just go ahead and open door after door. Use these little uh, bricks to open up with the keys you have. That consumed all four keys. Going to hit this swamp-looking thing. And yeah, I love these Mario-like sections, but I need ro oh, I need actually both of both of the items here. All right. Why is it still playing the music even though my sword isn't out? Whatever. There you go. Do the long jump, make your way down, and we are set. Now let's go ahead and hit B, A. Kill off these enemies to open up the way to the boss. And yeah, like I said, this temple overall is pretty darn easy as long as you uh, don't get hurt too much, which I happen to overcome. Actually, overall... Like, control-wise, it's not that hard to get used to, I guess. It's just... I don't know. I, I think I think my biggest issue when it comes to getting hit a lot is I get really impatient. I need to be more patient with games like this, but I never am. But, yeah. Okay, so one thing I don't necessarily understand is this. And I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Pegasus boots for this. But, yeah, you see all of these uh, backs within this room? Kill them. All right, we're going to go ahead and kill each and every single one of them. And a key comes down. Why? I don't know. Maybe if you happen to lose a key or you didn't know how to find one, you can get one from in this room and then backtrack to open up a different door. I don't know. If you're already at the boss door, though, 
I don't think you'd need another small key, but you can get yourself another small key, and that's a thing. But yeah, now it's time to take on the boss itself, though. Here we go, so neener neener, you can't find me, <laughs> yeah yeah! Okay, now a bunch of slimes are gonna fall down from the ceiling. Let's go ahead and hit the wall, though, and <gasps> the boss itself. This is Slime Eye. It's literally an eye that's slimy. So what you need to do here, and it's really simple, is you want to constantly hit it from in the center to split the eyes into two. By doing that, that's when the true boss battle will initiate, because other than that, he's not really going to hit you. Let's see if I can get a nice, consistent attacks. Come on. I think his link keeps, like, slightly turning. Ah, come Okay, he's going to regenerate. There we go. And we are not set. Maybe now? Nope. Okay. This is super annoying how Link has to be slightly pushed back at an angle. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just stand still. And hopefully... Nope. It's not working. I'm just going to try now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Gotta hit him in the middle, though. If he, maybe if I reposition... No, repositioning is not fast enough. I don't... This is not that hard, by the way, guys. For some reason, I'm... Ha it's funny, because this is, like, one of the easiest bosses. Can I actually... Wait. You know what? Let's see. There we go. Oh, I... You know... Wow, I am so dumb. I never actually tried moving. Well, I thought you could only run forward. Alright, so... This is the hard part. This is the actual battle. They're going to fall down on you, and if they do actually land on the ground without you being in midair, you will uh, get, like, you'll fall on the ground from how strong the impact was, and you won't... Oh, and now it hurts you, too. But we killed them, so we're fine. Now we wasted too much time on the beginning phase, but we did it. Now we got the heart container, yay! All right, this temple has been completed. Not that hard, but for some reason, on um, a boss that I claim to be really easy, I kind of struggled against. That doesn't. I always love the music that plays after you defeat a boss. So exciting. Just knowing right up ahead is the next instrument. So there we go. Third one down, guys. So you've got the Sea Lily's Bell. Ah, that song was pretty nice. Alright, let's go ahead and teleport out of here. Bye bye. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. A waterfall is hidden in the waterfall. Huh. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't supposed to be worded like that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy Color. Also for the Game Boy, but I'm playing the color version, so DX. Uh, I guess it means deluxe, whatever. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching once again. I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!